Hello there, and welcome to another episode of Daily Magic. My name is Slytherin Knight, and I am so happy you could join me. So today's daily quest is one of our least favorite ones. Kill 15 of your opponent's creatures. It was something else before I tried to re-roll for, just for something better, but so unfortunately, this is what we gotta work with. Eh, it's all right. We'll see how far we get with it. Though the nice thing is it does let us have free reign of what we want to use. So I think last time we, we did mono black, I think. So this time we're actually going to do some mono red. Feels like it's been a while. Uh, nothing has changed about this deck. And actually, this one may have more options for killing our opponent's creatures. So this one actually might be better. Hmm. Something to think about. Either way, nothing has changed. I'm not the biggest fan of this card in here, Fugitive Codebreaker. It's in because it's, it's a hasted prowess, which is nice. So eh, maybe, maybe it'll be better. Maybe maybe it'll be better. Either way, that is the deck. If you, As you can see, we do have a Mastery Orb that we will look at at the end of the episode. So we have that to look forward to if that's something you guys are interested in. But without further ado, let's get into it. There we are. First opponent. Hopefully we... Uh, them going first isn't the best option here. But that's okay. We have a frantic scapegoat. Which pretty much gives itself a menace when you play it. So that's not bad. Oh, it doesn't look like we're going to need it. At least not at the moment. Go in with the code breaker. Now go ahead and give that one haste or give that one menace. Maybe not. Depends on what they do here. Okay, we'll give it a Gix. Yep, we will get rid of the Gix. And I guess the Master as well, since we have a Shock. Yeah, since we drew a Shock, we'll do that one too. Funny, I was trashing, I was trashing Fugitive Codebreaker, but now it's actually, you know, it's doing pretty well. That prowess, prowess is really nice. Nothing? Interesting. I'm surprised. To be honest, I'm surprised they didn't have... Um, there it is. You can't block that one, it's got Menace. So I need to check one last for each creature that attacks. So I can send in my Swift Spear. Both of them can attack and I can use my Frenzy. Okay. And depending on what they do, I can end this match with a Witch Stalker Frenzy next turn. No, it's target creature, so maybe not. And do 
that to get rid of another one. So all in all, we got we probably got a lot of kills in that in that match. I wasn't keeping count. But we will take a win. Very nice. Five. Five over fifteen in one match. That is not bad. Not bad at all. We're only at five minutes too. Very good. Let's move on into our second match. But I'll say that was a textbook usage of a mono red book or mono red deck, in my opinion. Yeah, can't get any better than that. While we wait for our second match, how is everybody doing today? <laughs> All right. Second match. Let's hope we get. Hopefully, we get something similar. Oof! They really want me to go first, don't they? Well, actually, we'll work with this. I'm not too upset with it. As long as I can pull a creature for next turn, that'd be great. Yeah, not really what I was hoping for, but we'll hold on. We'll hold on. I have some removal. So depending on what they play here. Excellent. That's a good choice. And immediately go. Into my own. Into my Godric. So at least for that first turn, I get that extra bit of damage. Very nice. Depending on what they do here next turn, obviously we'll mountain into a shock to get rid of you. Ooh, good. Go into a bloodthirsty. Into a shock. That was exiled, so that's not going to count as a kill, unfortunately. That's the one bad thing about using etching of Kumano when you're trying to get kills. If it's on the field, everything is exiled instead of killed, which is too bad, but it's okay. The bad thing is here, they're beating us on cards in hand. Yeah, that's not great. That's not great for two mono reds going up against each other. Positions they have a probably a decent amount of burn. Maybe. That's fine. I'm gonna guess maybe a, no shock, really. Play with fire, maybe. Really? Don't. That means they didn't have much else. If they went for a Witch Stalker's Frenzy, that means they didn't have much else. Okay, I need a burn. I need something. Maybe Monstrous Rage is what they have? I have a few turns that I can live, but a lo as long as Squeeze on the field, they're going to start building. And there goes my last creature. Hmm. They might end up taking us here, just because they can't. I don't think I can take them out fast enough. Do that to get rid of their get rid of their squee. If I draw another if I draw another lightning strike next turn, I'm gonna be upset. Mainly because um, we could have taken we we could have taken them out, but it's fine.
We'll see how things go. If we lose here, that's okay. Uh, it will have ended up being them just getting better draw than us. Yeah, that's a pull on their squeeze back into the Phoenix trick today. That's not good. But it is next match. Ah, uh, that's too bad. Go ahead and say good game. And we'll go ahead and concede there. There's nothing I can do. We'll just go ahead and finish it off. Which is unfortunate, but yeah, it happens. But that's okay. That's two matches. Let's head into our third. See if we can go out on a on a win. That'd be nice. That'd be really nice if we could. But as I've said before, that second match is a good example of how uh, you know two you know the same deck can go up against each other. Whoever the person who ends up winning is typically the one who has the better hand and draw, which that just ended up not being me that time. Ooh, I like this. Yeah, I like I like this. This isn't bad. Our opponent starting first is a little unfortunate, but I think we can work with this. Because depending on what they do, we'll probably we'll either play our card or we'll. Okay, so we'll go ahead and go ahead and send in our swift spear for the little bit of damage that 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 does. Okay, so they're a ramp deck. Joy. Those are always those are always fun to play against. I'm gonna guess a not what I was expecting. Tail swipe or bush swipe. Yeah. yeah, block it. No, ah, oh, you suck. I was hoping they would they would go for the block, but that's fine. I'll burn these to get rid of you. Lightning strike next turn. Ooh, into the raptor. Nice. Two. Okay. And I got a land out of it. Alright. Gonna immediately get rid of you. Block. That's too bad. We'll hold on to that. We'll hold on to the play with fire. Just in case. They're going to play something big. Oh no. That's not good. Yeah, that's not good. You don't see the tricks come out very often, but when they do, that's, that, that's unfortunate. It's not lethal. They need one more damage to make it lethal, but... <sighs> not what I was hoping for.
I'll let them. I, I, I will actually let them finish this one. We got them close. We got them real close. Yeah, good game. Nicely done. Very nicely done. I forgot that Triplets does that. Yeah, I forgot Triplets' ability. Whenever Gruff Triplets dies, put a number of plus one counters uh, equal to its power on each creature you control named Triplets. So since both of them died, that's six going on to a single. Yeah, which is too bad. I forgot it did that. But anyway, with that, we are going to wrap things up. We actually got pretty far. In three matches, we got 11 of our 15. Not too bad. But I didn't forget. Let's go ahead and get our Mastery Node reward card style for Knife. <laughs> the mur um, one of those clue equipment, is this the murder weapon type thing. Very cool. But like I said, that is going to do it for us here. If you enjoyed this episode, which I do sincerely hope you did, feel free to hit that thumbs up button down below. And if you happen to be new to the channel, hello, welcome, and consider subscribing to stay up to date for whenever new content is posted. But other than that, thank you so much for watching. I really, really do appreciate it. And I will see you all next time.